there are so oh, what happened yeah the recording there are some dax function that is not working in the one second let me just check even if i touch my laptop little Hope you understood, right? So the any, <clears throat> this is how we can use. <clears throat> yeah, row level security, you were asking, the buyer. there is a good question from Pradeep. Um, why should I use Karita Ramir? Can I use um, row level security? So, but the row level security, there are some DAX functions not working. Okay, there are some limitations with the row level security. So to overcome that, this is another option. Okay, yeah, to my knowledge, okay. And uh, the next one is, uh, so we are done with uh, the any query parameter. So there are three steps. First, create the parameter. Once you create a parameter, obviously you need to use it. For that purpose only, we are creating it. So where I use it, we can use uh, the parameter in any specific uh, column. So in this case, for the sake of illustration, I use the parameter in the country, as well as I create another parameter. That is also any time. So in that case, uh, that one, I used it for my region column. And then I tested it with uh, the edit parameters option. It was working as expected, but uh, there are cases where um, for some countries, uh, the specific um, region, uh, you don't do any business. How do I know that? Is there any way I can display some custom message or something like that? Okay, that is a different thing. Probably you can give it a try, okay? That is one option, okay? Fine. Okay, okay. The other question from Pradeep is, uh, is there any way can I use the mix of these two things? For example, parameter one, I can use any parameter. Yes, that is also possible. We can use the combination of, uh, you know, these, you know, different things. Okay. And now let us go ahead and see the any values. Like you said, I just go and um, click on the query parameter. And here, I just uh, select the same parameter, the region parameter. In this case, I'm going to click on the manage parameter. If you want to edit the parameter which you already created, you need to click on the manage parameter. Here, you can select the list of values. Okay, here you can specify, let's say, you know, the north and uh, south. We have seen it in the United Kingdom, right? So default values, uh, let's say north and current values. Something like, uh, why it is so the, yeah. So the, okay, okay, this is for this one, right? So, okay, we will use different thing. Default values, north and current values, this one. And let's go and check it in the sales W04. Does it gives anything? Nothing, okay? In this case, uh, with this combination, nothing is shown. And I just go to the region parameter. That is because the region parameter in south, right? So I'm going to use north. I'm going to see here the north got assigned. Yes, north is there. And in this case, I'm going to use um, apply changes. Ideally, we should have checked it in the data. Anyhow, we will see. And we know very well in United Kingdom, North region, right? I just go and select the same thing here. 
In United Kingdom, this is any parameter. And this is list of values. Look here, you are giving two different options. When he selects South and when he hit OK, if he cannot find, he knows very well. In South, there is no, we don't do any business in the South region. Why? First of all, you should, you should select South region, right? So the other option is, um, yeah, like you said, right? You are in to display some message. In South region, we don't do any business, something like that, okay? And here nothing, instead of you know, displaying nothing, it will cause confusions. <clears throat> here, what I'll do is I'll just uh, select the, this time I'm going to select the North region. Ideally, you can give all the regions here, right? So in that case, um, but uh, all the regions, for example, you need to make sure that uh, for different users, you need to give different access, okay, different privileges. It goes and applies filters on the country column as United Kingdom. Within the United Kingdom, show me the North region related sales performance. So we can use the mix of uh, the any as well as list of values. Okay, and the list of values is very simple. Uh, you have seen it, right? You need to go and specify the type, right? The type as um, a list of values. There you can specify what are the list of values that you want to display, you can do it. Yeah, that one, you can probably explore it. If uh, the users select the South region, if there is no, for let's say, for, let's say you are using a date uh, slicer, right? For that specific duration, uh, there is no sales happen. Um, in that case, you need to display some custom message, okay? There are no sales happen on this thing. How do you do that? You just think about it. We will see that in the next session, okay? And the next one is the query parameter. The last one is the query parameter. I'm talking about this one. There is something called query parameter, okay? Query. So in this case, the same step, uh, you need to create a parameter first, and then you need to create the query, okay? Sorry, you need to create the query first, and then you need to create the parameter. Because uh, when you create a parameter, there is an option here, right? You need to select a uh, query, but when you select the query, it will ask you what query you want to use it. Hence, the first step is query. Unlike other two types of um, parameter, in this case, you need to first create the uh, parameter, sorry, the query, okay? So what I'm going to do is I just go to the sales w 0 for data set. And in this case, I'm going to go to the country column and here, I'm going to, uh, why it is showing something like this? United Kingdom, oh, the default value it picked up, right? Okay. I'm not able to clear the <clears throat> filter also. This is another challenge. Okay, here, I just go here and then clear filter. And here, now the filter is here. See, first I clear the filter here and then only it shows clear filter. Okay? Why? So now, okay, that one we'll discuss. For example, in the country column, I'm going to click on the drop down here. And sorry, um, not here. So you, you just keep the cursor somewhere here, right click on it. In the, here you will find something called add as new query, okay? This is called your context menu. Which one? The one we are seeing it. Please keep it so your cursor somewhere here, right click on it and add as a new query. Click on it here and then the, you will find all the country here. We don't want the duplicates of the United States, everything. Or you right click on it and then remove duplicates. Now your query is ready. So this query will display what are the countries that I'm going to do. I, I'm doing the business. Let's say you are the CEO of the company. Okay, you know you should be able to view any country, but uh, you know you don't want uh, the country name to be typed manually. Okay, instead, uh, kind of a drop down. Okay, list of values. If you can display it, I'll go and pick up and I'll see it. Okay, now I have created the country query. Fine. And I have to use this in the parameter, right? So this is my country parameter. Already it is there. I'm going to reuse it. Or in your case, if you want to test it, you can recreate it, okay? So here, instead of using any value, I'm going to use the query. Once I select the query, it asks the query name. What is the query name? The country query. Look here, the country query that I selected. And in the United Kingdom, let it be there. I'm going to hit OK. And when I go to the uh, AGT sales, um, Sorry, uh, not the AGC, it says W04. And here, 
we need to use the parameter because we cleared the filter, right? Text filter, and I'm going to say equals. Oh, okay. That's a good question. Country parameter. Okay, fine. See, this question is uh, in the same column. Can I use more than one parameter? Yes, you can use more than one par parameter for a single column itself. That's why they've given and or and all. Okay, if the um, country is equal to country param, and uh, you can use something else also. Okay, you can use uh, some other conditions also here. Okay. And uh, for example, if you click on it here, equals, uh, you can select, um, for example, uh, apart from this country, you want to display another country also, okay? You can select it this way. So for that, uh, you can create, for example, I'm going to select Germany, okay? Since you asked this question, okay? I'm going to hit okay. And here, nothing is there. What I will do is um, text filters, uh, equals, Instead of giving and, I'm going to use or, okay? Or equals, sorry, here I'm going to use the parameter, the country param. This is the one who's holding the query. And here, you know, for the, since you've asked that question, I'm going to say uh, equals text. Yeah, it is not showing anything here, right? So, yeah. Equals or uh, ends with. Or you can use some parameters. Give it a try with the parameter, okay? And um, equals, but when I use text here, it is coming, right? Equals, uh, the parameter is country param. And uh, equals, it was showing something else earlier, okay. Uh, okay, you can click on advanced here. In that case, okay. Country equals, um, country param, and uh, you can use text. But even in this case, it is not coming back. Mm, yeah, here you can use or. And here, country uh, or some other column you can use. Country. Mm, or you can say region, right? You can say region. Instead of region, yeah, they say the sales. Sales uh, is greater than parameter you can use, it, decimal number. In this case, you can use 5,000. Don't display everything. Give me anything above 5,000, okay? But here it is not showing. Yes, that is what uh, that is possible. Uh, yeah, what we will do is first we'll start with uh, explore this one, okay, and then you can probably try that one. Mm, okay, the country param here, the United Kingdom. Yes, in this case, I've used the query as country query, and United Kingdom, I used it, and uh, region, I think I have used the region here. Let me just check the region is there here. Uh, and here I just wrote the country column. Okay, best thing I just go to the view and then click on go to columns. And here you will find the country here. Where is the country? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the country, if you click on it, you take it the country column. Yeah, the filter is there here. I just say the clear filter and I just simply select um, equals. I'm going to say parameter, country parameter. United Kingdom should come here, but it is not displaying it here. Why? Region. I don't apply any filter anywhere. Okay, let us do one thing. If I close and apply. Right. 
transform data edit parameters okay here the country param yes if you click on the drop down here it will show all the countries as a CEO of the company, you should be able to view all the countries, right? But given any country, says you want to say, you can say, for example, Russia in the North region, if you hit OK, and you should be able to see the performance of uh, Russia, North Russia. It is very um, report user friendly. They don't have to type. When you type it, you might tend to make some mistakes. What will this be know very well in the United Kingdom? We have North region, the data is there, United Kingdom, but United Kingdom it is not filtering it correctly. I think some other uh, filter uh, was uh, over, overlapping with this one. United Kingdom, where is the United Kingdom? United, United, United Kingdom, United Arab Emirates. Okay, uh, let's say, well, let's do one thing. Australia, we found something in South, right? Um, but South region, did we find something there? No, right? It is not showing anything. Let's the last attempt. Let's make a final attempt. And then, yeah. So in this case, the region I did not assign, right? Look here. The region parameter is there, but I cleared the filter there. That is the reason why it is getting confused. Look here. When I go here, the country column. I just clear the filter and also we'll check are there any filter is there in my region column since uh, we have used the region parameter maybe the region one second i just go here go to column and region yes region region yeah here there is no filter okay fine uh, but in this case um, i'm going to use the filter here also I'm going to text filter and I equals the parameter and here the region parameter and I'm going to say nothing. Okay, so now let's go and check uh, the region parameter uh, and here north, we'll select the north and country parameter. Okay, here we have to select the country parameter. Let's say United States. We found um, United States or United Kingdom. United States, I think so, right? North region, we had some sales. And I just uh, go and test it here. So instead of wasting time, I just go and check whether it is giving any data. Nothing is there. Okay, what I will do is uh, I just quickly go over here. The country column. Uh, it is uh, okay. Okay, it is first applying the region, right? In the region column. I am going to clear the filter first, and then let's start with the simple one. Okay, and uh, it's already late. Uh, go to column, country column. The country column filter is there after removing this. Okay, I just remove it again. And then here I just select the equals. But here it should display the data. Otherwise, uh, there is something wrong. Okay, and uh, okay, here, sorry, here the parameter, the country parameter. Okay, and if I select this, the country parameter, what values it has in it? Uh, it has United States, right? Okay, the query, country query. Okay, let me just go here. Country query and text, everything is correct. What I will do is for the time being, I'm going to remove the region parameter. Because I, it was picking up this one also since we mentioned it. 
I just uh, go back to sales W04 and I just go to the country column. I think somewhere something went wrong. Clear filter. Clear filter show everything, but why it is not showing anything? And that is the problem here. Here, uh, again, clear filter. Yes. You need to clear it two times. Okay. Uh, now, I just go here. And then, equals. Entry param. United States. Yeah, now it is coming out correctly. Yeah, combination of parameters, right? Uh, multiple parameters got confused. Okay. Now it is working fine. But you will be using multiple parameters in the real world scenario. You need to remember that. Okay. So try with that one. Okay. Since we have used only one parameter this time, if I click on it, it will prompt for me to enter only the country. So here edit parameters. And if you go here, yeah, United Kingdom, and it shows uh, so United States, right? So it shows all the regions, In all the regions it shows. Again, you can create uh, the same region parameter now, and then you can apply it and see if this is going to show only the but if you need it, all the region United States as a CEO, right? Uh, you can see it here. All the regions in the United States, you can see it here. Okay. Or if you want to apply a filter, again, you can give another parameter. Let him choose it. That specific uh, thing alone, you should be able to say. What is the question? Oh, his question is, is there any way can I display all the countries? Yes, all the countries, but you need to remove the uh, filters. If you remove the uh, filters, then it will display everything. Okay. <laughs> don't use any parameter okay you need to remove the parameters that's all but with parameter can i display all the countries mm, how how you can do it see the purpose of using the parameters you want to apply the filter right and when you apply, somehow you need to apply the filter okay so in that case uh, you cannot do that oh okay oh you want to apply oh what you do is in the case see uh, you just uh, give the region alone here. Keep a create a parameter for region. Uh, uh, let's, you know, uh, run, let's say the user enters south region. All the countries don't create any parameter for country column. So all the countries south region alone, if you want to say it, you can say it. Okay. And you know the same column, use the and or an option is there, right? You just give it a try that one also. Okay. So, you, for example, uh, the management they wants to see the sales is anything greater than thousand. I'm interested. Profit is above, um, you know, above five percentage. I'm very particular about the, uh, the, the 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 sorry the performance, right? Which region the profit was more than five percentage? I'm interested. In that case, you can use the combination of or everything. But um, when you add more number of parameters, it can lead to confusions. Okay. So to uh, for you, the option is you can introduce only the region parameter. You can exclude the country parameter. In that case, all the country, specific region, whatever the region. And if you want to see all the region, all the country, then you don't have to use any parameter, which means you don't need a filtering, right? The purpose of this one is uh, filtering uh, apply dynamically, changing your queries values. Look here, the next uh, application of uh, the query parameters in the case of um, release management system. Look here, uh, I'm going to create another parameter. Uh, manage parameters, uh, new parameter. Folder path, something like that, okay? Folder path. That's all here, uh, maybe any, and the values, um, sorry, any value, and here the text, sorry, text data. The folder name is supposed to be text, right? Folder name and file. So in my case, a D colon that one, the sales uh, underscore w04 dot csv. And I'm going to hit OK. 
And this is my parameter. I have to use this parameter. Where can I use it? I just go to the sales W04. And then this is my query. In this query, what I do is I just go to the apply steps. In the first step, source, click on the wheel icon. And here you will find the path name. Right, this is the one, right? Uh, currently it is using it. And what I do is instead of saying like this, I'm going to click on the parameter. So here, folder path parameter one, and I'm going to hit okay. I think it's not a case sensitive, right? Okay, let me see. Um, because I mentioned the sales as a small yes. I don't think so. it's a case sensitive. File name need not to be a case. Let us see what happens. Yeah, um, other queries are just do not directly accessible. Yeah, busy building data come. Okay, maybe it is not able to find out. I'm going to edit the parameters. And here I'm going to say the capital yes. Capital sales uh, 04 CSV or the backward slash. We saw the forward slash right there. Uh, it may not uh, directly activate the source. Please rebuild this data connection. Let me do one thing. And here the in this case, um, this is how the folder name is to be specified, isn't it? Uh, in this case, let me do one thing. I just go here and select the path. Yeah, it should be like this. Oh, okay, because in the edit parameters I use in it is just right. Maybe because of that, um, sales underscore w zero four or sales. Okay, Yeah, small uh, sales only, right? Um, let me do one thing. I'll just um, copy this D colon that one. Maybe something wrong there. Sales underscore W04 dot CSV. Maybe the multiple parameters, like you said, it is first it, it applies the country parameter. It is getting confused because the Uh, is there any way I can change the order of the parameter? That is what I'm just checking it out. Yeah, so query says it references other queries or steps. It may not directly access the data source. Please rebuild this data, data combination. Loading blot by, okay, what I will do is I'll just go here and then the edit parameters. And here, okay, we cannot do anything, right? Okay. Transform data. I just uh, go over here, the country column. I just um, clear the filter. I think because of that, uh, it is getting confused. Let me do one thing, close and apply. Okay, the next question is, uh, Pradeep now is asking, so that, you know, is there any way I can change the order of the one? Okay. Now it shows all the countries, right? If you click on this here, so you have D colon that one. Let's say if you have another folder called QA, you just specify the QA folder. For example, I just say, I don't know if I have data in QA. Let us check that one. It dynamically uh, switch to the QA folder path. Yes, it is working fine, no issues. It goes to the QA path folder. In that folder, I have another set of data. It goes and picks up. Okay, to answer to your question, uh, Pradeep, uh, what you do is you just uh, go and uh, first we specified it. Now you just uh, go step, you know, step by step. Now you go and you select the country column and then you do it. Maybe it is picking up the order that way. And here the parameter, country param, yes. 
I just go and say close and apply. So in that case, your first parameter is going to be your um, edit parameter. First parameter is going to be your the path name, folder path. Second, yeah, it is going by the order how you created the parameter. If I click on this, yes, but here it is not showing it, but behind the scene, it takes care of it that way only, right? So for example, here, that one and United States. If I go in, say not United States, so let me say the Australia. Behind the scene, it works uh, by the order how you created the parameter, okay? Means you need to make sure that, um, but here it is not showing the different, right? The parameters. This is your reference to other queries or steps. Okay, okay, it may not directly access the data source. Please rebuild the data comment. Because I'm using uh, some other queries uh, as a references because of which it is causing problem. I just um, discard this. See here, you remember in this case, I'm using for the demonstration purpose, I've used the, okay, what I will do is the references files, I'll just remove it. The sales W04, total sales. Yeah, the group by we have used it, right? It is using the different thing. Maybe, yeah, reference of uh, sales. What I will do is I will just delete this one. Uh, yeah, before deleting it, I will just um, rename it. That's what, a lot of things are there. Just looking at what is query parameter alone not sufficient in the real world scenario. You will be forcing these kind of things. But for United States, uh, let's try with uh, some other country. Is there any problem with the country? United Kingdom, I did not see anything. Oh, United Arab and Emirates. Let us see what is happening here. I'll just click on OK. Yeah, it will throw that error. So what I will do is I'll just go and you know delete the reference one. But um, if I have the reference one, can't I use this one? There are some uh, limitations, right? And you need to make some trade off. That's all. One row loaded. So only one record is there in this case. United Arab Emirates, EMEA. Okay, it is working fine. I think somewhere uh, it is not, uh, you know, working. Uh, you just check it out, okay? What I will do is I'll just share this one. Try with uh, test with, see now you understand right, how uh, testing is uh, Im important. You are developing the report alone not sufficient. You need to you know, try with different combinations uh, with the different thing. For example, if I select the uh, edit parameters and if I select Australia, in Australia country parameter, if I hit OK, It is working fine, but try with uh, other combinations. And then remove the references which I created. You remember, right? Australia, look here, Australia, Oceania, only one region called Oceania is there. Fine. Okay, we are done with the query parameter. So, likewise, you can use the parameter in any place. For example, the same example, if I go here, the top n, reduce rows. If you go here, Reduce rows. So usually we don't use this at all. Keep uh, rows, right? Keep top rows. And here also you can use parameter. Instead of this one, you can use any parameter. You can use the parameter name here, okay? But here we don't use it in practice, okay? So many parameters also cause confusions. 
and uh, like uh, we pose at the time of testing also it can cause some kind of confusions okay again for top 10 and the right you don't need to uh, you know give parameters for this and apart from this for example you have something called you know day replace values dynamically you can create parameters uh, in this case you need to specify the parameter name and the second one is the parameter so which value you want to find that you need to uh, prompt the user to enter it. For example, the user wants to uh, type Wednesdays, something like that. Okay. And something that's a typo, and you want to replace it with, uh, you know, typing this parameter. Okay. So find parameter, replace parameter. Okay. Replace with parameter. It gives some meaningful name. Likewise, uh, with the help of the parameter, you can make changes to the values also dynamically. Yeah. yeah you can use parameters for any columns. Okay. Uh, see here uh, the parameters um, like I said use you know, this is to uh, uh, you know, restrict the users to view see products and all right uh, it is not the right way of doing it okay region wise country wise state wise you can restrict the users okay not the product wise okay product wise you can restrict but you can use uh, slicer in your model okay fine that's why I said don't use it blindly for everything from the security point of view also, you just think about it, okay? Product, uh, any product can be seen by anybody, right? There is no issues. But only thing is, the one region sale performers or one specific country, specific region sale should not be known to other region people. For example, somebody is not uh, performing well. For example, I am in United States, North region people are not performing well. Uh, I am you know, not a North region manager, but I am a South region manager. When I see that, yeah, I am bit, I'm faring better than that guy. So then this is enough, right? There will be some kind of bias will come into picture. You know, that is another reason, okay? 